Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of books that I don't think anybody should be buying right now. And I will endeavor to provide a rationale, a methodology, a thought process behind why I don't think that these are good books to buy. At the end of the day, it's your money, your collection, and you're going to make the right decision. But potentially, I can offer up a few things for you to think about and to consider. Potentially, these books aren't on your radar at all, and that's actually okay as well, because for you, hopefully the rationale, the methodology, the approach will resonate and you can apply it to your own unique situation. At the very end of this video, I will offer up one book for you to think about picking up. With that said, let's get to the video. All right, so the first book that we're going to look at is this one right here. It is Batman Beyond issue number one, the first appearance of Terry McGinnis. People absolutely love this character. There is a lot of excitement for whatever reason around this character right now. And I'll tell you, I don't really know the source of it. I, I don't know why all of a sudden Batman Beyond issue number one has gotten hot, but it seems to be something that is on people's radar. And I don't know whether it has to do with Michael Keaton appearing in the Flash movie. I don't know if it's just part of these recycled rumors that we hear time and time again about, you know, just Batman Beyond coming to live action or whatever it happens to be. But there's a lot of interest in this book right now. Uh, a lot of sales have taken place raw and graded. And so it's just something that we want to be aware of because potentially due to these rumors, the timing might not be right for this book. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Because I'm a, a fan of 9.8s from Modern Comics, this one was released in 1999. We are going to go ahead and look at the 9.8. Uh, and you can see here by this data that's on Go Collect, there are a total of 1,865 graded copies on the census, of which 1749 of them are universal blue labels. Taking it a step further, 442 of them are a 9.8, which has a, a fair market value of $1,750. And uh, we go ahead and click on that. And we can look here at the data for this book. On the right-hand side, you can see that this book has a one-year average of around $1,774. The 90-day mark, it was down to $1,533. And now it is back up to about $1,600 for this book. Again, potentially because of the rumors that have begun to circulate recently for this comic, it appeared to be on a downward trajectory, but because of this, maybe there's a little bit of a lift that could just be a temporary thing. On the other side, maybe this book starts its decline again and, and folks might be able to pick it up, but you can see graphically here, it, it's just kind of sputtering along there. You know, there was a little bit of a decline, but then a, a little bit of a tiny hockey stick there uh, to bump its price back up. But when we dig into some of the data here, you can see that there was a, a best offer uh, for this book on 428. The person was asking 1670. This book actually sold for 1450, which is not bad. It's actually below uh, the 30 and 90 day. Uh, 1450 is not bad for this one. The sale before that, somebody was trying to get it for uh, $1,600. That one actually sold for $1,500. And then you can see there the $1,700 even also on uh, eBay fixed price. Before that, it was roughly $1,500. I'm not quite sure what this one went for earlier in the month. Uh, but again, look, $1,500, $1,500, $1,450, $1,602, $1,850. $1 this book was, was, uh, was, again, I think it was on a decline and now all of a sudden there's there's some interest in this book and, and maybe it's rebounded just a little bit again th this is not a knock on the character or the book it, it is um a recognition that potentially now isn't the time to actually pick this book up but let's go in and glance ever so quickly at the 9.6 let's see what's happening with that there there are fewer no there's more more of these on the census uh almost 500 copies at a 9.6 but it's fair market value is better at $500, right? That's a little more reasonable. Uh, but when you look over here at the chart again, you can see 
the one year this book was sitting at 537, it was down to 426, and now it is back up to 464. Uh, when you look at the individual sales, the most recent, this one was being offered up as a best offer at just about 500. It actually went for 420, which is not bad. The one before that, there's two sales, same day, exact same image. Um, I think that one of these may not be a real sale, so we might be looking at about 500. But again, the book was... Uh, let's just say 570, 500, 420, uh, and but it's but it's uh, 30 day average is 464. So the challenge here is that in my experiences, prices for books are slow to go down, but very quick to go up based upon rumor and speculation and people trying to get whatever they can get out of a book. And so if these rumors are indeed circulating uh, widely enough, you might see people not wanting to give the book up for a more fair price. They may be trying to squeeze every single dollar out of this book. And so potentially th this is one of those books that might be a wait and see. It might be a wait and see, right? Uh, the 9.6 has a better uh, a better cost associated with the, 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 than the 9.8, but the 9.8 is not a bad way to go, right? That is not a bad way to go. Again, I'm a huge fan of 9.8s for modern comics, but I can't bring myself to pay 15, 16, 17, hundred dollars for this 9.8. And I can tell you for a fact, I've looked for this book repeatedly in the 100K collection with the hope that I could find it. I've given up hope, but uh, I, I still would like to have this book at some point, but potentially not for those prices. Uh, one other thing I will mention to you is that there are multiple versions of this book out there. There is a direct edition, there's a newsstand, there's a promo version. Uh, there, there's, I think, at least one other version out there. So you definitely, if you decide that you're going to pick it up, make sure that you are buying the right book because if you're buying it on eBay, they may mislabel it. They may not fully realize that there's multiple versions. You want to make sure that you know what it is that you're buying because you might see it and you might be like, that that's a smoking deal. Let me get it only to realize it's not exactly what you wanted. So again, in my mind, Batman Beyond issue number one, whether it is a 9.8 or a 9.6 is going to be a don't buy to a wait and see type of buy uh, just because, again, these rumors are circulating. And I think that that's artificially propping this book up just a little bit. So that's my thoughts on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at another book here. And this one is another book, again, clearly because of the series that I would not buy right now, despite, this, despite the fact that it's actually a cool book. This is Infinite Crisis issue number five, specifically the Jim Lee variant. This is the first appearance of Mr. Reyes as the Blue Beetle, but I do believe it is also his first cover appearance as well, which makes this a really cool book. But again, because of the trailer, because of people paying attention to this one, this one might not be the right time to pick it up. This is this is Red Ocean stuff. And if you don't know the reference, there are videos here on the channel that will explain Red Ocean, Blue Ocean. This is a Red Ocean book. It's a gorgeous red cover, but a Red Ocean book, nevertheless, and one that I would I would I would stay away from, to be honest with you. So this book was published back in 2006, and again, modern book. We're going to look at the nine you can see that uh, there are 1,500 uh, copies total on the census. About 1,400 of them are universal blue label, of which 636 are a 9.8 blue label. Fair market value for this comic is $300. Let's go in and click on this and take a look at what we see here. And uh, you can see graphically, just look at the graphic. Look at the graphic. You can see that hockey stick. That hockey stick is pronounced, and uh, the average price for this book is sitting at about $300. About $300 is the 30-day average up from an average of $267 up from a one-year average of $251. This book is being pushed by the movie. And if you've seen the, the trailer, you know that this movie has the potential to be really, really good. And so that is what is being reflected here. This, again, is not a criticism of the book or the character. Both are dope. The timing, the timing is what I question. So you can see here the most recent sale for this book on 427 was $290. There was a best offer prior to that. Person was trying to get $350. I was unable to find this book, this sale right here 
in eBay, in eBay Terapeak. So I don't know what this one went for if it was actually a completed transaction. But if you back up, look at this, 285, 300, 300, 295, 335, 350, 285, 290. This book is being pushed by the trailer, by the excitement that the movie is coming. The time to have bought this book would have been a while ago when, when no one cared who the Blue Beetle was. That would have been the time to get it. Uh, at this point, the time to get this book might be on the other side of the movie. Let the movie come out. Movie comes out. People enjoy it. Whatever happens, generally speaking, on the back side of the movie, prices come down. That could be the time to actually pick this book up versus right now, right? I, that is, again, just my experience. I would not touch this one right now. Maybe if you find it raw, maybe if you find it for just a smoking deal, uh, but what would happen if you just wait several more months? Maybe you'll get the book at a much more favorable price when it is Blue Ocean, when people are paying attention to all the other movies that are going to be coming out that will draw their attention and their dollars along with it. So just, just a few things for you to consider and think about. Ultimately, it is your collection, your money. You will spend it how you choose to. So the very next book that we're going to look at is another book that is Red Ocean in my mind, Rocket Raccoon issue number one. I think that people are paying attention to this book because of Guardians of the Galaxy. If you've seen the trailer, Rocket Raccoon laying there with his buddies talking about their names, I think a lot of people were like, oh, let's get some Rocket Raccoon, which is why there has been a spike in sales associated with this comic, which happens to be the first uh, self-titled series for Rocket Raccoon. Not the first appearance, not even the second appearance. It is the first solo title series. And I have this book in the collection. I honestly have not read it. It is literally uh, six feet from me right now, and I have not read it. Maybe I will, uh, but, but a cool book, a cool book. But again, it's the timing. It's the timing that I question. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this book is performing. Uh, very interesting here. There is one 9.9 .9 on the census. Um, I, I didn't know that that was possible. What for, for what was this book? 80s? 85. Yeah, I didn't know that was possible for a book from the 85 quality for whatever reason in, in the 80s was not, not great. Uh, but there are 187 copies of this book on the census at a 9.8. The book has a fair market value of $220. So let's click on this and see how this book is performing. And again, you can see a little bit graphically how this book is performing. I mean, it, it generally just kind of sputters along, right? Little ups and downs here and there, but, but it appears to be on the upper end. It appears to be on the upper end of what it normally goes for. And you can go all the way back to, to 2013, uh, this book generally is on the upper end of its overall value spectrum. Why? Partly because of Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I think that that's part of what is propelling this book at the present moment. And again, let's be realistic. The book is not terribly expensive, right? So let's, let's put it in context. One year average for this book is $200. 90-day average for this book is $225. Uh, and the 30 day average is about the same thing, 225, not a whole lot of sales in the last little bit here. You can see, uh, there was one sale on three, five for 225. Um, I don't know if I was able to find this one, this one for $250, the best offer. I don't know that I was able to find that one on eBay. Uh, same thing with this, this next one here. So we, we won't talk about those, but, but if you back up, look at how this book was performing. I mean, at the end of December of 2022, this book was $124. That would have been a great time, great time to go ahead and pick this one up versus where it is right now at 225. And again, my thinking here is that if you are a big rocket raccoon fan and you just love the character, um, one, you might already own the book Two, If you really love the character, you might just want to wait until the other side of the movie uh, and pick the book up for a more favorable price. I will, however, point out a couple of things that potentially the the from an investment standpoint, going with the Rocket Raccoon uh, self-titled solo series might not be the best way to go. There's other books out there, but even those books that one are hard, hard to find and or are more expensive than they should be right now because of Guardians of the Galaxy. One of those books is Marvel Preview issue number 17 
from Curtis, which happens to be the first appearance of who became Rocket Raccoon. Um, there are only 769 copies out there graded. So uh, a book that is a little hard to find. It is also kind of expensive, to be honest with you. Uh, not necessarily one that I would touch. Again, I'm not the biggest Rocket Raccoon fan, so I'm not going to go out of my way to find this book, nor to pay what people want for it. Another book um, that folks may want to consider if they just love Rocket Raccoon, Hulk 271. This is the second appearance of Rocket Raccoon, but again, with this book, it is going for more than what I think it should go for right now. And again, all of these books are a question of timing, right? The timing is what I what I wonder about. And maybe waiting a little bit longer might put you in a great position to be able to snag these books for a fair price. So with that said, we are going to talk about one last thing. In this video, we have highlighted books that you potentially don't want to pick up right now, but there's one book I want to tell you about that you should consider picking up, and it's my book. It is it is Isolation Issue Number 4, a book that I've been working on with Doug Bratton for the last few years. It is a solid indie comic, and we are just kicking off our Kickstarter campaign on SwolgerPublishing.com. Fantastic art, fantastic story, great covers. Isolation Issue 4, available on swolgerpublishing.com. Check it out. If you want to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects. Take care. This thing on. Mic check. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yo. Should you practice art? Or shall art be your practice? I had a question, so I asked it. Not to anyone specifically, but to my inner God, you know? The one that's gonna be a master. The one that's more than a rapper. The one that's an educator. The one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts. He's got the mindset expansive. He understands that his time combined with travel and concepts makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan. Straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we in distinct rooms of pure souls having them conversations, synergy and combinations. You lie and we waiting, Indian style and the gold.